Okay, let's add some video to our Flash CS5 website. When we left off, we had created a Flash file here. Let me open up the folder of the site. Here's the Flash site, and we can double click on the HTML page, and we can run it. And you can see here that we get the site. We can click About, Gallery, there you can see our image gallery. And when we click on video, this is where we want to show some video, but we haven't done that yet. So we need to do that. We need to add the video piece to our Flash CS5 website. So that's what we're going to do now. On another site that I've done, I have that video piece where if I hit Control Enter, I'll show you the Flash movie of this site. I can click on video, and I'm given a choice of this video or that video. And if we click on the choice of either video we want to watch, it's put into a um, video file here. You can see here, and then you can play it, and you've got controls for controlling the video. I don't know if you can see these controls here at the bottom. Let me bring it up. There you can see them. And you can control the video. You can go to full screen mode, all kinds of things. So that's pretty nice. So we're going to do something like that with our site, and we'll have a choice of two videos to choose from. So I will switch back to our site here that we're going to work on. And I'm going to bring up that folder again where we have the site located. So this is the Flash demo site that we've been doing in this series of video tutorials. And what I did was is I created a folder. I named the folder Videos. And inside this folder, I've placed two video files. So you're going to need to do this too. You're going to need to come up with a couple of video files. You can see over here I've got vid1.mp4. And I've got this one, vid2.flv. And once again, I like to look at my file extensions. So if you can't see your file extensions, you might want to view them. So you go folder and search options, view, and then turn off hide extensions for known file types so you can see your file extensions. So anyway, you're going to need to come up with two video files. If you want to try other types of video, go for it. MPEG, AVI, see if Flash can play them. So that's a good, that's a good project. That's a good thing to do. So anyway, I've got two videos in my video folder. Once again, they're named vid1.mp4 and vid2.flv. And so we're going to basically attach those to our Flash movie and play them from the folder into the Flash movie. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is figure out here, I've got the keyframe that I'm on right now for video. So here we are, that's the gallery, and then we go to video, and then I've got a keyframe right here for content. So we could put the video here. So to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my component window, window components, and I'm looking for this file right here. You can see these are all your components, user interface components, flex component, video components. FLV playback, just drag and drop it onto the keyframe that you want. So there it is. And I'm going to get the transform tool. And I'll hold down the shift key to constrain proportions. And I'll just stretch it out. Okay, so there it is. So now I have, I can raise it up a little bit using the arrows on my keyboard. So now I have the component. I'm going to go back to the selection tool. And I'm not going to write any code to control the Flash video component. What I'm going to do is to control it, I'm going to close this window, is I just have to deselect, select the component, and then in the properties window, you can see there's this window component parameters. And there I can align it, center, autoplay is checkmarked. Um, let's see here. Scale mode, maintain aspect ratio, that's good. Skin, you can choose a different type of skin, right? So this is the skin I'm using right now. But if we click on this, there's a bunch of other different types that we can choose. Um, and each one has different capabilities, right? So this one has volume, mute, full, a counter, uh, back seek. This one has uh, no full screen capabilities, right? This one has uh, stop, seek, full volume, all that. So each one has different capabilities. You just have to pick the one that you want. I'm going to stick with this one. And then I'm going to take the skin background color and I'm going to drag this over here so I can get the color of the site kind of blend in with the player. And then I need to set the source file. So I'll click on this, um, this icon right here and then browse for the file. And I've already got it loaded here, videos folder, vid1.mp4. I'll click OK. And you can see that instantly it picks up the video and puts it in here. So that's perfect. 
So now this is ready to go. You can even do some volume setting here. There's cue point capabilities here, but I'm not going to use any of that. So I'm ready to go. Let's give it a test and see if it works. So now that it's in there, I'll just hit Control Enter. All right. And the site comes up, and I can go to video, and it starts to play. So that's great. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I can hear it in my headphones, so the video is playing perfectly. So the video played perfectly, the sound is working, notice I can go to full screen mode, I can control the volume, all that stuff. I can also scrub to different parts of the video, and that's nice, that's just built right into the Flash video component. Now, what if we want to do a situation where we want to have a choice between two videos, like I did in um, my other site? Well, we can do that too. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll make a second keyframe, let's say like right here, insert keyframe, and then I'll select, notice that the keyframe where I put it is right where this is, right? So I select the video, and I'm just going to choose a different video. So I'll do that, and I'll say let's go browse for our other video, and so there's video 2 click OK. All right, and so there's video two. So on this keyframe, it's video two. On this keyframe, it's this video, right? So now what I'll do is drag this over here, and I need to put a blank keyframe here. So I'm going to insert. So now on the video frame, what we want is we want a blank keyframe. Insert blank keyframe. Okay, so now we're going to stop here, right? Blank, nothing here. We need two buttons that will take us to this frame where the first video is, or this frame where the second video is. And we're going to need some labels for those frames. So I'll put a keyframe here where the frame labels are, and I'll say V1 and hit Enter. And then over here, right click, insert keyframe, and then in the property window, V2 and hit enter. So if we look over here, we've got a frame label here, V2. We've got a frame label here, V1, right? And all we need now are buttons that will take us to these two frames. 